so let us move to the topic today geometric figures so before starting this topic uh, we should be familiar with all the geometrical uh, shapes we know regular geometrical shapes like triangle square rectangle trapezium parallelogram so we are all uh, familiar with the properties as well and we should be clear between the properties for example square all sides are equal and uh, all angles are equal and diagonals bisect each other and diagonals intersect at 90 degree and even rhombus you need to be familiar uh, one key difference you need to note between square and rectangle as well as square and the rhombus so square and rectangle if you want to tell so every square is a rectangle but every rectangle need not be a square the same thing holds for rhombus uh, we should know the similarities and also the differences between rhombus and square both are quadrilaterals a uh, square similarities when we speak about the similarities a uh, square is actually uh, all sides are equal a uh, rhombus looks like a kite so all sides are equal and all angles are also equal to 90 degree and uh, whereas in rhombus the major key difference is all uh, sides are equals and all angles are also equal but need not be equal to 90 degree opposite angles are equal so let me see the difference in detail uh, with particular question so now let us start with the first question what actually it will be based on this topic you will be given with a particular diagram which consists of which may consist of trapezium or triangles or squares or circles semicircles and so on so we need to count the number of specified diagram in the given figure for example in the first question how many squares are there in the given figure we ha actually having a square grid okay in that we need to count how many squares are there so one uh, formula is also there whenever we are uh, counting the number of squares in the square or number of rectangles in the uh, square so first we shall go with one normal technique and later on we shall uh, explain with formula as well so that will work if the uh, number of rows and columns increases this is actually an ex example for 3 cross 3 grid so 3 rows are there and 3 columns are there and it is a square grid so let me start with the actual method and later on i'll explain with the formula how you can uh, do in a simple way so let me name the blocks first so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so closed uh, partitions i have named it as 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so start with a single part and check whether it represents a specified diagram in the question so we are looking for squares in the 3 uh, cross 3 square so you can observe each number or each part whatever the number i have written 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 each partition or each part represents a square so totally in total nine small squares are there so let me write 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so totally nine small squares are there and you already know it's a big square and let me check with uh, adding two partitions now it is obvious that if i uh, consider one and two together it is a rectangle it is not a square so no don't don't take into the count even with uh, two three any combination of two Uh, 2 5 3 6 1 4 4 7 they are actually representing rectangle but not square so let me go with the three the same thing is happening here 1 2 3 if i consider if i join all the three parts it's again a rectangle but not a square but we need to count the number of squares go with the four uh, numbers now so 1 2 3 6 it is not a square it's not a rectangle but go in this order 1 2 4 5 if i add these portions that is 1 2 4 5 i'll writing in the bracket it represents a square you can just see this is a square so if i join 1 2 4 5 it is representing a square similar way you repeat for this 2 3 5 6 whichever the combination of four numbers representing a square let me write now uh, 4 5 6 9 is not a square 4 5 7 8 as a square again and one more is there 5 6 8 9 so check for any other combination that makes a square actually there is no such combination of four numbers which makes a square only four combinations are there okay let me write here four squares from this 
from these combinations and uh, let me try with the five uh, uh, segments joining obviously it doesn't form a square 1 2 3 4 5 it's not a square 2 3 5 6 8 9 it's not a square again so definitely directly we can go with if we consider all the segments it's a big square is there so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 a big square is there so one big square so take the count now so whatever the count you are getting that actually gives the count of number of squares in the given square grid that is 3 cross 3 grid. So 9 plus 4 is 13, 13 plus 1 is 14. So 14 is there in the second option. So this is the right answer. Actually we did in the, in this method is applicable for every problem. So name the segments appropriately and then go on counting with each combination, first combination, uh, uh, club two combinations like that. But here if I increase, suppose if I consider 4 cross 4, this method works very easily but the problem is it takes time. So whenever this particular uh, figure, whenever it is asked to count the number of squares, we can just go with the formula. First I will repeat for this. So there are actually it's a 3 cross 3 grid. A grid means 3 rows are there, 3 columns are there. So whenever it is 3 cross 3 grid or if it is n cross n grid, square grid in particular, if you are counting the number of squares in n cross n grid, start with n. So what is n here in this case, there are 3 rows and the 3 columns, n is 3. So start with square of the 3, go on decreasing until you get 1. So 3 square plus 2 square plus 1 square, you can just add it now, 9 plus 4 plus 1, so you are getting 14. So if you remember this formula, in one line you will get and you can uh, solve this within a minute. So uh, uh, be aware of the particular patterns and you can employ the formula whenever it is required. So the complexity of the problem increases if it is 4 cross 4, you can just observe. If it is 4 cross 4 grid, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. If I go in this method, you can easily get the answer. The problem is it will kill the time. So instead of labeling, I am just finding out what is n. n is 4 here. So start with the number 4, 4 square, 3 square, 2 square plus 1 square. So 16 plus 9, 25, 25 plus 4 is 29, 29 plus 1 is 30. So 30 squares are there in this 4 cross 4 square grid. So even you can apply for 5 cross 5, 6 cross 6, uh, any number, n cross n. Start with n, n square, n minus 1 whole square plus n minus 2 whole square plus n minus 3 whole square up to the number 1. Let us move with the second question now. How many triangles are there in the given figure? One particular pattern is given in the question. So we need to check how many triangles are there. Uh, so it is not a regular pattern, so where we can apply the formula, but we shall apply the first technique, what I explained in the first question, that is normal uh, technique. So what you are supposed to do is, whatever the segments are there, you go and give the number, 1, 2, 3, 4, and this partition, this partition let it be 5, and this is 7, and this is uh, 6, and 7, and 8. So let me check one by one. So individual, uh, partitions, let me check whether it represents a triangle and take the combination of two parts, join and check whether it represents a triangle and move on. So first thing, let us start with 1. 1 is obviously a triangle and you can observe 2 is a triangle, 3 is a triangle, 4 is a triangle, 4 is actually this part, it is a triangle and even 5 is a triangle, 6 is a triangle, 7 is a triangle and 8 is a triangle. So each number is representing a triangle, in total we have 8 triangles. So let me increase to one more part that is taking the combination of two parts whether it represents a triangle or not. So let me start with 1 and 2. So 1, 2 represents a triangle, 2, 3, these two parts you join it, it represents a triangle, 3 and 4, it is representing a triangle and even 1 and 4, it is representing a triangle. The same thing repeats in the below uh, part of the diagram as well, you can just observe 8, 5, 7, 6. 6 and 5 and 8 and 7. So totally uh, these constitute 4 plus 4, 8 triangles. So if I move with joining 3 parts, obviously it is not a triangle, you can check 1, 2, 3. If I join these 2 and check whether it is a triangle, it is not a triangle. Even with 4, it is a trapezium actually. So we can stop the count here 
and we can take the total count what it is giving now 8 plus 8 16 triangles are there in this uh, pattern. So, third one is the appropriate answer for this question. Let us move with the third question. Uh, how many triangles and squares are there in the given figure? One slight difference is we need to count the number of triangles as well as the number of squares in the particular pattern. But it is very easy this diagram. Three blocks are there actually. If you take the count of the first block, the same number repeats here and the same number repeats here uh, to consider the number of triangles as well as squares. So, let us concentrate only on the first block of this uh, diagram. So, first thing let me count the triangles. So, I will just label it as 1, 2, 3, 4 and this is 5, 6, 7, 8 and this is 9, 10, 11 and 12. So, start with the first block, the square. So, let us count how many triangles are there. So, this closed one is 1. So, that represents a triangle. Even 2 represents a triangle. Even 3 represents a triangle. Even 4. In total, 4 triangles are there. So, let us try the different combinations now. If I join one part and the second part, one part with the second part, it is again a triangle. So, you have the combination 1 comma 2 and start with, uh, if you consider 1 comma 2, no need to consider 2 comma 1. So, 1 pair is enough. So, 2 comma 4 is also a triangle and 4 comma 3 is also a triangle and 3 comma 1 is a triangle. So, such triangles are 4 in number. So, totally 4 plus 4, 8. So, this block is yielding 8 triangles. So, definitely no need to count and consider. This block also will yield 8 triangles and this block also will yield 8 triangles. Totally now you are having 24 triangles, but let me check after merging all the 3 blocks whether there is again a triangle formed or not. So, if you observe carefully after joining the blocks, uh, this is one triangle formed. And this is one triangle formed in the upper direction. So, totally 26 is now the number. Let me check in the reverse direction, the downward direction, this is one more triangle and this is one more triangle. So, totally 26 plus 2. So, 26 was, uh, 24 was this number and four triangles are uh, formed in upper direction and even in the lower direction. So, totally 28 triangles are there. You can just check the options. The first option and the third option, there are 28 triangles. You can rule it out, the second option and the fourth option. Now, we are worried about only squares, whether we need to consider three squares or whether we need to consider five squares. So, the diagram itself suggests you there are three square blocks. So, totally three squares are there, but be careful when three squares are joined and you can just observe this three and five. It even though it looks like a kite or a rhombus, it is not a rhombus, it is a square actually. Why? Because this is a square and this is a square. So, we know that in squares, diagonals intersect each other at 90 degree. So, obviously, this 3 and 5 will be, this is 90 degree and this is 90 degree. Obviously, this should be 90 degree and this should be 90 degree. If I join this points, it the, it represents diagonals rep, uh, intersect at 90 degree. So, this is one more square and this is one more square in the similar pattern. All together, 28 triangles are there and 5 squares are there. So, the options are quite confusing. So, be careful uh, about the count of squares actually. So, the option, right option is the third option, 28 triangles and 5 squares. So, in the fourth question, we are supposed to count the number of trapezium in the given uh, figure pattern. How many trapeziums are there in the given figure? So, we should be familiar with the trapezium property. It is a quadrilateral in which one pair of the lines actually will be parallel. A simple uh, example for trapezium is this one. So, if I name it as ABCD, you can just observe AB is parallel to CD. If you extend the lines, they never meet. But whereas AC and BD are non-parallel, if I extend, they will meet at a one point. Even though this is an example for trapezium. So, these two are parallel. So, AB, CD. So, keeping these things in mind, we shall count the number of trapezium in the given uh, figure. 
So first let us, there are different blocks in the diagram, let us name it as 1, 2, 3 and so on. So this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So one means this entire thing and uh, please observe these are all parallel lines. Okay. So each, let us start with a single uh, uh, say a single part that is 1, 1 is actually a trapezium, the number 2 is also a trapezium, 3rd, 4th is also a trapezium, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Each number is representing a 10, uh, is, is representing a trapezium, so all together we are having 10 trapeziums. So let us take the combinations now, so let us start with uh, a combination of 2 parts, that is start with 1 and 2. If I join 1 and 2, you can observe this line is parallel to this and it is a quadrilateral and it is an example for trapezium. So 1 comma 2 is forming a trapezium but not 1 and 9 is forming a trapezium. So let us check 3 and 4 is forming a trapezium. In a similar way 5 and 6 if I join it is forming a trapezium, 7 and 8 and even 9 and 10 is forming a trapezium. So try with the three combinations 1, 2, 4, it never forms a trapezium even with four uh, parts if you join it never forms a trapezium and whole together that diagram is not a trapezium. So once we are done with all the count you can take the total count of trapezium in the given pattern. So it is 10 small trapeziums and this is giving actually 5 uh, trapeziums in total 15 trapeziums are there in the given diagram. So the answer for this question is second option the number 15.